Okay, and the last step to, um, to get a nice surface on the fret is to take um, some 500 grit sandpaper Get it the right size. Now here's a tool I, boy, I sure have made and given away a lot of these. I used to make them out of ebony. They used to be smaller, maybe this big. But this one, I've been working with this pattern for quite a while and I like it a lot. So I, I intentionally made a rough surface on it in the milling machine because it makes it easier to hold on to. And then back here, got a little curve for the heel of my hand so it doesn't poke into my hand. And it's a nice way to hold the sandpaper. You can see that there's a half round groove in this piece of, um, I guess it's acrylic, clear acrylic plastic. And um, it's relieved by these cuts so that we can polish just the top of the fret. And again, we'll use the, the brass mask. Um, So because of the shape of the plastic and the hardness of the plastic, it's going to transfer through the sandpaper the correct shape to the top of the fret. So it's going to blend those facets that we cut with a file. And the, the way it's shaped, it'll only cut the high spots. Okay, so we're going to sand until we have either no marks or almost no marks. And we're going to come back with 800 grit sandpaper after this to put a final polish on. And I'll show you how that all works. But so for now, just need to go over all these frets and take out the file marks. See, it makes good use of the sandpaper. <laughs> Get to use up almost every little bit of it. I like this method very much, not only because it produces a fantastic result, but because it's, it's simple, you don't have to buy a lot of special stuff 
Um, you can just use regular sandpaper that you already have in the shop for sanding wood and uh, it works really, really well. So again, this is an example of um, frets about as low as you would ever be working on them. Whoop. Now, <laughs> can you see what's happening to my mask? Because the frets are so low, the sandpaper is cutting through the mask and here it has disabled this mask and it's time to retire this guy and put a new one into service oh, back in a few minutes with a new mask. Last time I was replacing this um, mask with a new one which is fine except it occurs to me that I hadn't thought about this <laughs> clearly enough. So here, uh, here's the 30 thousandths height that I want to get. And um, there's the fingerboard. And he, here's 10 thousandths of mask right here, That's, which only leaves me here um, 20 thousandths or 0.5 millimeters, which ain't much. And these tools that I have are for uh, taller frets. So I just went to the milling machine and made a new tool um, that's only, that has an 18 thousandths uh, difference between, you know, 18 thousandths depth of this groove, and whereas this one is quite a bit more. And so, because what was happening is the sandpaper was coming down and, and cutting the brass probably almost as much as it was cutting the fret top and ending in premature death for this mask. So here we go with a new tool, fresh piece of 500 paper, new mask, Let's see what happens. There we go. That's better. So we can see that it's not cutting the mask now. That's what we had hoped. And it's still putting a nice shape on the top of the fret. So we got what we wanted. What would we do without tool making? So as the sandpaper wears out, and it wears out quite quickly, of course, a lot of pressure and hard material to cut, it breaks down and behaves as if it were a finer and finer grit of sandpaper. And you really get a nice finish.
I'm gonna downshift the grit. That seems better. A lot of shaping. It's almost as shiny as the 500, huh? Okay. Got a pretty good finish on the frets and they're they're a nice smooth shape. They feel great.